In the last video, I looked at micro SD cards. In this video, I will be looking at cheap SSDs from AliExpress. As a comparison, I will use the cheapest SSD I could get in this country and a standard laptop hard drive, which runs at 7200 RPM. Now, if you're like me, you often get requests to speed up laptops and one of the easiest fixes for that is to replace one of these boys with one of these. But also often people want the cheapest possible way to do it, right? They don't want to spend 40 bucks on a superior SSD. They just want to spend as little as, as possible. This is where these come into place. I always buy a couple of cheaper SSDs that I can use exactly for this purpose. Now this one here costs me $17.48 for 120 gigabytes. Now these three cost $7.74, $7.86 and $10.12. Now I tested all of these drives with F3 and with GNOME drive utility. As for the speeds, first let's look at the baselines. Now all of these measurements are in M bits per second. The hard drive with GNOME has 68 reads and 55.90 writes. And with F3 has 65.78 reads and 5550 writes. The cheaper SSD from my country has with GNOME 436.80 reads and 355.50 writes. And with F3 has 414.14 reads and 52 writes. Now, how do these SSDs compare to the baseline? The Somnambulist has 426.50 reads with GNOME and 267.40 writes. With F3, it has 402.68 reads and 35.79 writes. The Booking with GNOME has 429.30 reads and 268 writes. And with F3, it has 351.30 reads and 38.15 writes. The ACOS has, with GNOME, 431.90 reads and 360.20 writes. And with F3, it has 232.29 reads and 46.10 writes. All of these SSDs have the advertised capacity, which is 128 gigabytes, 128 gigabytes, and 128 gigabytes. Now that we established that the, these are quite good and for the price, they're, they're worth it. Which one would I recommend? I actually would say, if you want to appear serious, buy the ACOS. I just bought a second one of these in 512 gigabytes, and it also had true capacity. The reads and writes were about the same. It's wonderful. It's a bit more expensive, but it works. It looks good, and Nobody will doubt you if you that you bought some cheap weird Chinese SSD as if you bought this booking with a Santa Claus and a Christmas tree on it. Yeah. Now what I want to know is how do they look inside? Are they the same? Are they different? So let me check that real quick. I will open it up and it will see you in just a second. Now here I am with all of these SSDs open. The a pacer was the only one that was made out of metal and had actual screws holding the SSD inside of the case. The rest was made out of plastic with tabs and the Somnambulist one was quite easy to open. I think it's a, it's a weaker plastic they use on this case. 
And what is interesting is the Boo King and the Somnambulist seem to be pretty similar. They look almost the same, only the flash chips are different. Maybe they are the same, but the markings are different? I don't know. Here's the front of all of these. And here is the back. All of them, except for the Boo King here, use two flash models, which is quite interesting to me. Which means these here are probably something like 32, 32 and 64, maybe? And here it's probably 64 and 64, 64 and 64, 64 and 64. Now I will post high resolution pictures down in the description if you want to have a closer look at these. And I will post all the numbers if it's not legible in the photos of the components that I see, like these chips here, which probably are the controllers and all the flash chips. But what you can also see here is none of them have DRAM cache. So they aren't the best SSDs. But what this pr has proven to me, even the cheapest SSD in my country can easily be cut in half by price. I mean, with a cheap AliExpress SSD. I can highly recommend this one if all you want is to upgrade from a hard drive. Hell, if you want to upgrade from an IDE hard drive even. You could just take it out. I mean, it's just plastic. It has no cooling compared to metal. Even then, it probably barely has any cooling effect. Slap on a, a, a SATA to ID adapter and maybe even put it one in a case like this, right? And you will have a much better hard drive in your system than that one. I hope this was helpful, and next time you upgrade the hard drive for somebody, you might be able to save some money.